All right, let's do an update on bond fighters. So uh, a lot of the markets are going up today. I mean, if we just come to the side here, we can see, uh, I mean, the SPY has started to come down a little bit since it's pump, but we do have Bitcoin coming up. We do have the dollar rising, gold is rising. The total crypto market cap is heading back to the 618. Uh, Bitcoin has broken above you know, uh, 41,000 right now. So uh, a lot of these coins are getting, you know, 10, 11, 7, 6% pumps today. Uh, you know, FIDA's not even really up 5% right now, which is uh, a little bit unfortunate, really. So, I mean, I have had my eyes on this $1.34 for the past couple of weeks now. If you have been watching my content, you know that I have basically been targeting one thirty four since probably like a week or so maybe more than that but you know i think we broke down below 230 at which point i said you know i think we would be coming down to 188 we came down to 188 lost it and i said you know the next price level down from here is 134 so uh from the opening today you know i mean to be to be fair with this coin we have had almost a 10 percent increase but from where we are today, uh, oh sorry, no, this this was from the the wick. So, uh, from the candle body opening to the absolute wick, we had uh, almost an eight percent move. But yeah, I mean, right now we're not even up five percent. So, I mean, if I did zoom in better, I could get a better price uh, target on that. But we are not even up five percent on the day for this coin, which is you know a little bit worrying. Uh, we are still below the seven eight six. So, in my opinion, you know, until we do get above the seven eight six. Uh, we can't even, you know, we can't even talk about returning to 231. Uh, a lot of these coins, I mean, for example, for, for Bitcoin, I have outlined in the past few videos that, you know, even if we do pump above 41,000 and uh, 40,000 specifically, I would need to see a, a breakout of the 46,000, a back test, and then start going off to the races before I do accumulate any altcoins. So I am sticking with what I've been saying for the past couple of weeks. Uh, for fighters specifically, I mean, the, the market structure isn't necessarily too, too diabolical in the macro term. Um, you can really flip this a bunch of ways so i mean we have had this descending resistance we have broken out so that is you know that is a good sign but you know all in all if we do kind of look at where we are in terms of the fibonacci's in terms of the 200 day we are below pretty much every support that we'd really want to be above i mean even the, in even in the micro term we're struggling to poke our head above 187 which is the 786 so uh i, I have my eye on this price target here you know 188 uh where this 786 is if we do come up to the 786 and have a rejection you know like i said i am still targeting 133 Personally, right now, I am still targeting 133, but, you know, uh, you know, if you've been watching my videos, I am sitting on the sidelines for altcoins. I'm not accumulating any altcoins, and, you know, I am just waiting for either lower lows for these altcoins to buy cheaper against Bitcoin, or I would be looking for Bitcoin to finally break above 46,000. So, until either one of those happens, I am sitting firm on the sidelines. Uh, that is pretty much all I've got for you for Fighter today. So, I mean, keep an eye on 188. If we don't get above 188 in the next couple of days or so, uh, I am still targeting 134. So, have my eyes on one, uh, 134. If we don't hold that, you can probably expect... God, I mean, uh, where would we even expect from there? So, <laughs> uh, the, the price targets that we've got are literally in the minuses down here. Um yeah so we, we would really need to hold this 136 so i mean all in all i mean i could definitely see it holding anywhere between here really where we've got previous lows i don't necessarily think this coin would go below one dollar it has had a very very hefty fall already but you know as a conservative trader like i say in all my videos i am conservative i would rather buy uh, on a breakout and long rather than just long every single dip because you know most of the time if you've longed all of these dips you would have got absolutely wrecked if you've been doing that since the uh, 3rd of November so 
Yep. I'm sitting on the sidelines. If we come over to the Bitcoin dominance, another reason to be kind of fearful of entering altcoins is like we said, while the Bitcoin dominance is above the 200 day, uh, you know, Bitcoin is going to outperform altcoins. And that is what we're seeing. I mean, if we look at FIDA right now, sure, we have had almost a 5% increase. But, you know, like I've been saying, I am just holding Bitcoin and buying Bitcoin. Bitcoin's up 9.2% today. So if we do find a FIDA BTC chart, probably add this into my next set of videos you can see priced against bitcoin which is what we've been saying with the bitcoin dominance fida is losing its price against bitcoin so uh, we'd really need to hold this level down here if we do want to see a push up uh, you know potentially another six percent drop if at which point we do bounce so be it that could be the bottom if we do lose this then i mean we can we can take a fib but i imagine the price target is going to be very disgusting so um let's see what this is so from the breakdown you know potentially another 90 percent. so uh, i'm not saying that's going to happen at all you know i do find that somewhat unlikely uh, and that is because i you know i don't necessarily believe that bitcoin is about to go into a big bear market i do kind of think it is still possible we have one last flush out but if bitcoin does break into a bear market i mean that is the only price target that you can really see uh, so yeah keep an eye on Keep an eye on like 188. If we do break above 188, we can start talking about, you know, moves to the upside. But right now, I am just sticking with Bitcoin. FIDA's up 5%, Bitcoin's up 10%. So that's all I've got for you today for FIDA. Once again, none of this is financial advice. This is just my opinion on the market. And you've always got to do what's best for you. Peace.